Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to be going over how to do a column chart with sales as the column and then percent change as a line in the background. So you can see here I've got the month of the order date, I've got sales numbers, and then I'm going to calculate a percent change from each month. So to do the percent change I'm going to do equal sign to do a calculation. I'm going to do a parenthesis so the value in the current row under sales minus the previous value and then divided by the previous value. So I need the parentheses because if I don't have the parentheses because of order of operations you do division before subtraction so it's going to divide these first which would give you one so it would just be whatever this number is minus one but with the parentheses it does the subtraction first. So there we go we got a percentage. Uh, if it doesn't show up as a percentage you can just click this button here to format it as a percentage and change the number of decimal places with this. If you want more uh, decimal places use that. If you want less do that. Alright so we've set up our data. Now we want to do the chart. So I'm going to just select this data. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to choose uh, chart. So here by default it sets it up as a column chart. That's not what I want. So I'm going to go in here and select this drop down and I'm going to select here a combo chart. So you can see there's a column and a line. So if I select that, again it's not exactly what I want. It's not set up correctly. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this month out of the series. Uh, right now it's just um, graphing those months as a column. I don't want that so I'm going to delete it from here. Remove. I'm going to add it to the x-axis. So if I click this button it'll ask me what range I want and I'm going to select uh, this column here of data and click OK. So now we've got those on the x-axis. So it's not what we want yet but it's getting closer. So you can see we've got sales as a column and we've got percent change here as a line but the percent change is so small it's not really showing up. So if we want to change that, we're going to go to Customize. We're going to go Chart and Axes Titles. And right now it's on the Chart Title, so you could put in a Chart Title, but we're going to select that. And instead we're going to put in uh, the, oh, sorry, I don't want that, I want the uh, Series. Uh, so Series, we've got Sales, which is fine right now. Um, it's showing what we want, but we want to go to the Percent Change. It's showing a line, but what we want to change here is left axis. So it's using this left axis, which is too large uh, for the percent change to show up. So we're going to select that and we're going to go right axis. So immediately you can see now we're seeing uh, the percent change because it's using this axis instead. And so we've got basically what we want. We can change the chart styles and things like that. So if I want to put in a title, I can put in. Uh, sales and percent change. And we'll put that in the middle. Nice. And you can label the axes. So let's go ahead and label the vertical axes. Uh, so let's do sales. So we've got sales there. And on the right vertical axis, we've got percent. percent. Oops, sorry, percent change month over month. All right. And then the horizontal axis will put uh, order date. All right. So now we've got our chart. We've got a nice title. We've got the legend. We've got the Y and the X and the other Y axis all labeled. So there we go. That's all we need to do. All right, hope you guys were able to follow along and this helps you out. Thank you very much.